Which is better from the point of view of pizzeria owners? To have their own transport, like to lease cars, or to pay someone for the delivery? In this video, you will learn what is the structure of fixed and variable cost? How will a different cost structure affect the total cost when the production volume changes? And which is better from the point of view of the pizzeria owners to have their own transport like to list cars or to pay someone for the delivery? Each company incurs fixed costs and variable costs. Their proportion to the total cost is called the cost structure. Let's see an example. If a company has a fixed cost of $600 and a variable cost of $400, the cost structure will look like this. As you can see, the cost structure shows the share of fixed and variable costs in total costs. The question is, why do we need this information? Let me explain this with an example. Imagine that you are going to open your own pizzeria. There is a great opportunity for this because the only pizzeria in the city has just been closed by the owners who decided to travel the world for the rest of their lives. The idea seems promising, especially since you could rent the same premises that everyone uh, already knows. One of the first decisions you have to make is how to deliver the pizza. Will you decide to lease four new cars and employ four drivers or pay someone for the delivery? Let's consider both possibilities. Having your own transport will positively affect the image of the pizzeria, will reduce the risk of a vehicle breakdown and thus the number of dissatisfied customers who will not get a pizza due to the breakdown, will increase the value of the fixed cost because you will have to pay leasing installments. Paying someone for the delivery will not have a positive effect on the image of the pizzeria. Will increase the risk of a vehicle breakdown and thus the number of dissatisfied customers who will not get a pizza due to the breakdown. Will increase the value of the variable cost because you will have to pay for the delivery for each pizza. As you can see, from the point of view of your company's image and the risk of, of dissatisfied customers, it seems a better solution to have your own transport. But how to assess the different impact of fixed and variable cost? After all, the cost structure will be different in both cases. Let's take a closer look at it. Suppose you intend to sell 60,000 pizzas per year. It is possible because the previous owners sold a similar number, about 165 per day. If you decide to lease new cars, your fixed cost will be $240,000. And the production cost of one pizza will be 
six dollars. Since you are going to sell 60,000 pizzas, your variable cost will be $360,000. Your total cost is the sum of fixed and variable cost, which is $600,000. On the other hand, if you pay for the delivery service, your fixed cost will be much less, as it will only be $120,000, and the production cost of one pizza will increase due to the delivery cost to $8. Depending on whether you decide to lease the cars or pay for pizza delivery, your cost structure will look like this. As you can see, despite the same total cost of $600,000, we are dealing with two different cost structures. The first one consists of 60% of variable cost and 40% of fixed cost. And the second one consists of 80% of variable cost and 20% of fixed cost. A lower fixed cost usually means a higher variable unit cost and vice versa. Higher fixed cost means a lower variable unit cost. Let's see what this means for your pizzeria. Until now we assumed you would sell 60,000 pizzas per year. What will happen if you sell more or fewer units. Let's do a simulation of two additional versions. A pessimistic one in which you sell half of what you assumed so far, that is 30,000 pizzas. And an optimistic one in which you sell twice as much as you initially assumed, that is 120,000 pizzas. The situation for the pessimistic version will look like this. As you can see, when the production volume changes, the cost structure also changes. With a decrease in production, the share of variable cost in total cost also decreases. This means that in the case of lower production, the share of fixed cost in total cost increases. In the case of pessimistic version, where you sell only 30,000 pizzas a year, the version with a pizza delivery service will be cheaper because it will save you uh, $60,000. $60,000 is a lot of money to save. Now let's check what the optimistic version will look like. As you can see, the cost structure has also changed. This time, in both cases, the share of variable cost in total cost increased, which means that the share of fixed cost in total cost decreased. This time, 
the version with your own transport will be cheaper. It will save you $120,000. Admit it, it's good to know how to save $120,000. It's time to summarize both simulations and draw some conclusions. Higher fixed cost usually means lower variable cost per unit. This will give you uh, more savings when production will grow. On the other hand, lower fixed cost usually means higher variable unit cost. This will allow for savings when production decreases. Let's go back to the question from the beginning of this video. Which is better from the point of view of pizzeria owners? To have their own transport or to pay someone for the delivery? As you might know by now, the correct answer to this question depends on whether we expect more growth or decline in production. There is no one single correct cost structure. As we have seen in this example of pizzeria, each of them has its advantages and disadvantages.